Yo, 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 what's up? It's Day Day here with another gameplay. And this week, in this video, right here, right now, we're going to talk about what's going on this week in gaming. Upcoming in the video, we're going to be talking about how Blizzard suffers some eSport layoffs. We're also going to be talking about five Bethesda games that are going to be getting an FPS boost on Xbox Series X. And Watch Dogs Legions gets crossplay for next gen. That's hopefully to come soon. And wars on protest the rose. Go ahead and hit the like button if you're gonna <clears throat> if you enjoy my content. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well with the notification. This way you can be notified whenever I upload a video, whenever I stream. Also, the video playing in the background is just for pure entertainment. Let's get it going. Activision Blizzard laid off 50 people this week. That's mostly due to the fact that COVID-19 is still affecting our lives even a year later. What does this mean for gaming? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's going to mean that there's not going to be that many live events going on this year. Like last year, all tournaments, for the most part, are going to be held online. The one seeing the biggest effect in this, or where you see the most energy put into, is Overwatch and obviously Call of Duty League Play, which is brand new, or not brand new, but they just recently brought that back to Call of Duty Black Ops. But you can see a lot more tournaments to be expected online this year, just like last year. The crazy thing is that 2019... Most people haven't forgot that Blizzard laid off over 800 different jobs. I'm sorry, Activision laid off over 800 different jobs. And then shortly after hiring 2,000 brand new employees. Which is kind of crazy to cut that many people's jobs and then let them go afterwards. Microsoft announced FBS Boost back in February this year, sharing another way that Xbox is making the new gaming experience on the next gen that much better. With the Bethesda acquisition now final, the bump of performance is expected to be on the following five titles. Dishonored Definitive Edition, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, Special Edition Fallout 4, Fallout 76, and Prey. FPS boosts employ a variety of different methods that nearly double the original frame rate, or, sorry, frame rate on a select titles in Microsoft. Other games that could feature FPS boosts include Far Cry 4, New Super Lucky's Tale, Sniper Elite 4, UFC 4, and Watch Dogs 2, from a 30 FPS to a whopping 60. For me personally, I think this is amazing news. I'm hoping that they go back and they're able to bump up a lot of other games as well, because running at 30 frames per second, they were being undercut compared to PC, and now we're just getting to where we can actually compete. Yeah, we don't have 120 plus frames per second on every game like PC does, but the fact that Microsoft is working with Bethesda, you know, Bethesda because they purchased them and going back and bumping up the games just makes me excited to go back and play some of those. Which one of the games are you going to be most excited to go back and play? Please let me know that in the comment description, but I mean comment section below. Man, sometimes making these videos, I really mess it up. You know what I'm saying? With Watch Dogs Legions being out for over four months now, most of the single-player narrative has been completed by primarily every active player that is playing the game. Obviously, there's still a lot of people who haven't completed the game, but for the most part, everyone's completed. And now that multiplayer is live in the game, the number one question is, when can we expect cross-gen cross-play? Or, you know, so this way that people can play with their friends who are on other consoles. Well, have no fear... They did tweet out that that is in the works. They're also wanting to work on cross-progression. So if you have it on Xbox and you play on PlayStation as well, you're going to be getting a PlayStation. They're working on making it available that it will just carry over then and you do not have to start all over. More to come on that later at a different time. Another video of when that's going to be available. Hopefully it is sooner than later because they say soon. We know how COVID's affected us. Refer to the earlier statements. A Reddit user posted a video with the hashtag protest the rose, wear the brightest skin you have to restore faith in humanity. Following many other players from Warzone in order just to get rid of the rose character skin altogether or to have some cosmetic changes done to her. Because as most of you know, running into a dark room and she's sitting in the corner, you're not going to see her. So many players are protesting and they're saying, put on your brightest clothes that you have. So this way you can restore humanity. You know, you can bring back the competitive nature. And this way we can get rid of Rose and show 
the developers itself that we do not want that. Now, me personally, uh, well, I use Rose because if you don't use her, you're you're going to be seen everywhere you go. Now, I for one do not like to sit in a corner, but I do understand the need for changing this. This has ruined so many people's gaming experiences, especially whenever you're getting into the final circle or final circles, and you just need to run into a building. It's you're never going to see the person if they're laying there. Been a couple of people make videos uploading and showing how hard it really is. Now for PC players, I do understand that there is a slight fix whenever you go into the graphics car and you're able to you know change the exposure and stuff like that at a lot more scale than you can on console because I do have my brightness up a little bit, but if you turn it up too much, it washes it out. So PC players are at a bit of an advantage there, where console players don't have all the Spe specificness that'll work for in order to to make those changes so you know warzone is getting a lot better um they're not they're not not fixing it uh, i do notice that a lot of cheaters are getting banned pretty much at a weekly or bi-weekly rate i don't know how that's really affecting it just because it's in fact it's a free-to-play game all you got to do is just log on to another account, just create a whole other account. Uh, but getting back to the story, people are saying just get rid of her. I doubt that's going to happen personally because this did the, the, the debut in season five at the end of it once you reach 100 in the tier. But what they could do is simply just change the colors. You know, they can make it uh, have her a whole different suit, make it bright or not as dark. Any kind of cosmetic change could dynamically change the entire game. And that's what we're needing in Warzone. We're needing a change of pace. I'm ready to see what's going to happen. I've just recently started playing the game again. Hence the video of where you're seeing Call of Duty. Mm. Sorry about that. Let me know in the comments below like what video or what character are you guys using. Like I said, I do use Rose. There's just no other way around it, in my opinion. You have to use her. Otherwise, you're just going to get slayed at the very end of the last circles or just randomly in the beginning of the games where, you, you know, start of the match, you run in and all of a sudden you got someone sitting in a corner because, man, as y'all all know, we can't stand campers. So hashtag stop the campers. That's going to do it for this video. I do thank you guys for tuning in. I ask you please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Deuce.